Welcome to Synagogues of England, Part 22. This is London H, or the eighth episode looking at the Jewish houses of worship in the London area. The first place is no longer a synagogue. It was at one time called the Hammersmith and West Kensington Synagogue. It closed in the 1990s. It's now a church. The congregation had been established in 1890. This area is known as the West part of London. Its practice was orthodox. It had belonged to the United Synagogue Group. and itself was the result of a merger between the Hammersmith and the West Kensington Synagogues more than a hundred years ago. The next stop takes us to the Hampstead Synagogue, also orthodox. One can see the mezuzot at the right side of each of the door fronts. Other than that, there is no other obvious Jewish symbolism in the frontage of the building. The congregation lists usual times for Shabbat services, but does not list times for the weekday prayers. The rabbi is Dr. Michael Harris, who himself was born in London and studied at Yeshivot in Israel, including Ma'ale Adumim. He received a smicha from the chief rabbi of Israel. This congregation was officially formed in 1890 as an Orthodox congregation with Ashkenazic practices. The building shown here was completed in 1892. This next congregation is known as HGSS, or the Hampstead Garden Suburb Synagogue. It considers itself modern Orthodox and claims to have just under 1,300 member households, with over 1,100 children under the age of 21. The congregation was established in 1934, and it's part of the United Synagogue Group. Housed in the synagogue complex is the Karim School, which is called primary or grammar, grade levels. The Hampstead Garden Suburb area includes Hampstead, Highgate, West Hampstead and St. John's Wood. It's also near London's West End area. There is included in the area a local kosher restaurant, a kosher bakery, and kosher convenience stores and butchers. A congregation this large would have more than one rabbi, and this is no exception. The senior rabbi is Daniel Batya Friedman. The community rabbi is Ephraim Guttentag. And there is a rabbi that leads the Sephardic service, that's Jonathan Tawil. And a congregation this large is going to have more than one Shabbat service. There's the main area service, there is a Sephardic service, and there is also a Hashkama service. The Shabbat morning Hashkama service will usually have 40 to 50 men present and sometimes up to a dozen women besides children, and there's always a kiddish following that service around 9.35 a.m. There's also the South Hampstead Synagogue, known as the Spiritual, as well. Its premises is called the Hampstead Stiebel. However, don't presume that Shabbat services are held here. Instead, they are held at the Marriott Hotel Regents Park. All other services are held at the Laszlo Hall or Marisfield Gardens. It also recommends two other synagogues for weekday mincha services, such as the Village Shul and the St. John's Wood Synagogue. The senior rabbi is Shlomo Levin. The associate rabbi is Eli Levin, and there is also another associate rabbi for young professionals, Shlomo Odz. This Orthodox congregation is affiliated with the United Synagogue Group. The congregation claims a membership of about 750 families. Rabbi Shlomo Levin has been affiliated in the rabbinic position with the community since 1984. Here's another closed synagogue location, the Herald Hill and District Affiliated Synagogue. It was also an Orthodox congregation that was established in 1953 and it closed in the summer of 2015. The area is considered Northeast London. Our next stop is the Harrow and Wembley Progressive Synagogue. It was at one time known as the Wembley and District Liberal Synagogue, and before that the Preston Road Liberal Synagogue. It's sharing space with a congregation known as the Mosaic Reform Synagogue, 
which at one time was known as the Middlesex New Synagogue. This progressive congregation was established in 1947. Its most recent rabbi has been Frank Dabba Smith, but we're not sure if he's still the spiritual leader. We believe that the synagogue building that we are looking at was constructed in 1962. This is the final stop on this particular episode. Well, we mentioned that there was also the Hatch and Masorti congregation. This traditional conservative style congregation was established in 1998. As we mentioned previously, one opinion has that it is sharing the space with the Mosaic Reform congregation, whereas another piece of information shows that it could still be located in the building shown here. Until the spring of 2018, it had a part-time rabbi named Paul Arberman. We're not sure if he's still involved with the congregation. If it's still in the Hatch End area, that would put it in the northwest section of Greater London. We've finished this episode. There are still several more Jewish houses of worship in London to check out. So, bye for now and see you real soon.